As teen suicide rates are increasing, we want to share the importance of suicide prevention, not only for the month of September, but year-round. It's not uncommon for students to carry a heavy course load while balancing a job or even supporting their family. Um, I guess one of my stressors right now is I just, I just got a job, okay. so I'm like nervous to start and meet people, I guess, and get to know them and like know how to do everything. I don't want to like mess up. Um, I, that's in school also, the PSAT and all the tests coming up, it's really stressful. What about the balance between being a student and now working? And at you, yeah, it's um, it's gonna be uh, gonna be a balance, but I, yeah, yeah. But I think I can make it work. You can manage yeah. it. Yeah. Good. I'm the man of my house, and I have, I guess, a lot of weight on my shoulders to provide for my little siblings and give them what I kind of don't have. And it's, it's stressful. <laughs> we see this all the time on social media with our own friends, family, and loved ones. You know, social media, I don't, I'm not trying to say social media is awful because it's brought us extremely closer together, but also we live in this kind of right here, right now. There's a constant need of being self-aware, finding healthy ways to cope, and living a more positive lifestyle, even for high schoolers. This isn't like poetic or a pretty coping mechanism, but I do this thing where I just throw ice cubes in the bathtub. I'm like, it's so cathartic just to like <laughs> weigh them down there and like hear them break. And it's not destructive and it doesn't hurt anybody, but oh my gosh, it just feels so good. <laughs> yeah, I have to try that one. I have to try that. That's too. a good idea. <laughs> Throwing ice cubes. I like it. I like it. I'm Cassie Perez, and I decided to talk with Evans Behavioral Health students to discuss the ways of being self-aware when dealing with everyday stress. I've had the opportunity to work with the instructor and students recently with my background in psychology and share with them my stories of finding that balance as a teenager. You still have a purpose to be here, a reason to be here, and there's people that are constantly there to support you. You just need to find those people. Not all coping mechanisms are like good, like there's, there's self-harm, there's addiction, and those are really, really destructive. And mm. I've, I've known a few people who have confused it with like healthy me coping mechanisms. We live in this kind of right here, right now um, society where we expect a result immediately because, you know, you s search for something, you get results immediately. And so someone going through hardships or severe depression, they want a, a right here, right now solution. Mm -hmm. And suicide is a very permanent solution to what could be a temporary problem. Who do you think are really good resources for suicide prevention awareness? Counselors or school psychologists? I would definitely say like a teacher you trust. Hmm. Consult in your parents? Um, definitely friends, they're there for you. And there are also numerous amounts of hotlines and additional resources that you guys can contact if you feel you need the additional support.